Welcome to this video. So far, we have read about the geometric meaning of the zeros of polynomial. Today, we will see how the zeros and coefficients of polynomials are related to each other. In your previous class, you have learned that a zero of the linear polynomial ax plus b is negative b by a. Do you know that? By splitting the middle term of a quadratic polynomial, it can be factorized. For example, the polynomial is 2x square minus 12x plus 16. The term minus 12x is written as the sum of two such terms whose product is 32x square. On further solving, we get the factors of this polynomial. Therefore, for x minus 2 is equal to 0, that is, x is equal to 2 or x minus 4 is equal to 0, that is, x is equal to 4, the value of polynomial will be 0. So, 2 and 4 will be the zeros of this polynomial Px. Do you know that the zeros of polynomial and coefficient are related to each other? Let's see how. If we add zeros, you will see that the sum of the zeros is equal to the negative ratio of the coefficient of x to the coefficient of x square of the quadratic polynomial. It can be said that the sum of the zeros of a quadratic polynomial is equal to the negative ratio of the coefficient of x to the coefficient of x square. Where alpha and beta are two zeros of a quadratic polynomial ax square plus bx plus c. Similarly, if we multiply the zeros, you will see that the product of the zeros is equal to the ratio of the constant term to the coefficient of x square of the quadratic polynomial. It can be said that the product of the zeros of a quadratic polynomial is equal to the ratio of the constant term to coefficient of x square of the polynomial. Similarly, if alpha, beta and gamma are zeros of a cubic polynomial ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d, then the sum of the zeros is minus b by a, sum of product of two zeros is c by a, and the product of all zeros is minus d by a. In this video today, we studied the relationship between the zeros and the coefficients of quadratic and cubic polynomials. In the next video, we will see some important examples based on these.